and both of those teams are battling the injury bug to say the least. But uh, boy, I just like the way this team. Um, it's just frustrating to not be able to be a part of it, you know? Yeah, no, no question about it. And uh, again, I'm glad we we did it. I mean, we, we talked about, hey, let's, let's make history. Yeah. At home, I can tell you, from coming down to the arena this morning to, uh, to test in the protocol on the drive home, I saw multiple uh, troopers out there. They all have another time. Yep, as for Jessica Benson as well, she will no longer be just engaged. She will be a married woman what's before this, this time next year. Uh, it, it's loser, but okay. we're still we're still doing, figuring doing out. Right. I think professionally we'll keep it. Keep it Jessica's, get, Jessica's just let her let her husband know, or soon to be husband know, that there will be no name. Great group of people. For Evan Knight, uh, we wish you all the best, buddy. He had to miss tonight's game. He'll miss the next one as well, um, probably. So uh, just this thing is, is a very real deal. Uh, I know Brevin feels good, but um, it's affected everybody that, that's traveled with the team. And try to stall off the rhythm. So uh, luckily, you know, uh, we were able to make that adjustment. And it paid off for us. But against a team that you know plays great team basketball, great rhythm basketball, um, hopefully that was a little bit of a deciding factor. Great. Thanks, everyone. Happy New Year. Wish everyone a great 2022, uh, and uh, everyone stay safe. Okay. Happy New Year. That was Memphis Grizzlies head coach Taylor Jenkins following tonight's 118 to 105 win over the San Antonio Spurs. The Grizzlies end 2021 riding a four-game winning streak. They sit in fourth in the Western Conference. And when you look at what they've done throughout the entirety of this season thus far, first having to figure out a stretch of games where they with this Grizzlies team and the coaching staff that keeps them ready, keeps them prepared to step up when their number is called. And it helps when you do have John Morant back out on the court because he has been on his next level since he returned. And you look at his 30-point games this season, he has his third straight 30-point game tonight with 30.